gozaimasu, it's Jenny, and I'm back with my insane Sanrio slash kawaii haul um, from Japan. And if you know me, this is like my totally my style, and that's why I love Japan so much, because everything there is so cute. Um, I went crazy on Sanrio stuff this time. Usually I don't buy this much Sanrio, but we had gone to Piro Land, and um, I think it's because I was with my mom, and my mom likes Sanrio a lot too, so... Um, we were just feeding off each other. Um, but we did manage to get some other um, kawaii characters that I'll share in this haul as well. Um, but it is massive, so if you're not interested in kawaii stuff, then you might want to skip this video and watch some of my other videos. Um, let me just start off by... Okay, um, we were very Tsum Tsum crazy for Disney Tsum Tsums, but as we got to Japan, I found that other companies were making Tsum Tsum like characters, and I was like dying because I, that's more my style than the actually Disney Tsum Tsum. So um, we found this cute set from, it was actually from a kiosk in Character Shop, Character Street in Tokyo Station, and um, I think these guys are all tofus and they're all cute different color pastel tofus and they all stack and these guys are like bean bags but um they reminded me of the zooms because they do stack and i don't know the name of the company sorry um but we did see them also in a store in ikebukuro called passport and that was a really cute store i wanted to buy more stuff in there but i only bought a few things um this one though we got from the kiosk and my mom bought this for me thanks mom um i don't know why she decided that she wanted to get this for me but um she saw that i really liked it and i wanted to buy it but i hesitated because i felt like i had bought a lot of stuff already so thanks mom for forcing me <laughs> by buying it for me because i really love them they're so cute um and I really want to try and get, they actually had a bigger size ones, like, I don't know if they're like pillows, but they were super, super, super soft. Like, when you touch them, it was like super soft. Like, I wanted to get the bigger size one, but like I said, I didn't have too much room left in my luggage, so um, I was happy to get those. Okay, the other character that was new that we got, and this is just, it's so weird. <laughs> like, I can't decide if I like it or I don't like it because it's a little creepy, but... Um, it's this little egg guy, and his name is Guretama. No, Guretama. Guretama. Tama like egg, and Gure is like I don't know if it's lazy or something like that. Um, but he's a wobbly egg, a yolk, and um, I guess something like he feels like no sense. He do anything because he's just gonna get eaten. <laughs> I don't know. If you watch YouTube, um, just do in the search Guretama. G U D T-A-M-A, -A. and a bunch of these cartoons will pop up, and you can watch it and see what I mean, because it's, it's funny, it's weird, but it's cute, and it's a little creepy, <laughs> so my husband, I don't know, for some reason, he took a liking to this guy, and he ended up buying a few things with it, and he got, one of them was this squishy keychain, it's a squishy, um, and my sister-in-law was interested too, so he bought one for her, um, he also got, um, a gachapon with it, which is another keychain that he put on my um, backpack, but I forgot to bring it in here. Um, then, I don't know why he wanted this. It's a, it's like a acetate sticker that I think you put on the side of your light switch. So he got that. And then we found this um, candy for him at 7-Eleven. And I think over here, it's a white yogurt outside, and I think inside is orange. But they make it look like the um, Guretama. So if you go look on the YouTube videos, I think there's actually a um, restaurant or a shop that sells eggs with the Guretama face on it. Like you can order it as your meal and get a laugh. I don't, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's funny. Makes me laugh. Um, anyway, so that's all we got for Guretama. We didn't, we didn't go too crazy, but they had a whole store in the character street in Tokyo Station with all the Guretama stuff. So if you like Guretama, you can go there and you'll find a lot of product. But he is a Sanrio character, so we did see him at Puro Land and some of the other Sanrio shops. So if you are looking for a Guretama, you can find him there as well. Um, the other character that I like um, is Rilakkuma. I didn't like him at first either. I thought he was sad looking, uh, but 
my friend Linda educated me on Rilakkuma, and she told me that he's lazy or a relaxed, relaxed bear, not lazy bear. Uh, but he is very cute, and he grew on me on the last trip that I can came to Tokyo. So now when I go, I look for Rilakkuma stuff too because he's cute. Um, so I found, I got lucky, and I found these cute uh, Mimi Pochi type pouches um, from. Oh, where was this from? Don Quixote, Don K. And I got one in pink and one in white. Um, and I got a bunch of them for some people here. And then I got this for my friend Linda because she likes Rilakkuma. And he's dressed up as a cat. How cute is that? And she loves cats. So I got her this little notepad. Um, and it has a bunch of those characters. Anyway, I got her that. <clears throat> um... I also went to the Rilakkuma store, which I found in um, the Sky Tree Mall, which is the first time we ever went there. So the big Sky Tree in near Asakusa, um, they actually had a mall attached to it underneath, and we found a lot of stores that we liked there. So I probably would go back there if we stay in the Asakusa area because it's nearby and they had a lot of cute stuff. So. Um, it's kind of near the food court area, so if you're looking for it, go in the food court, and if you walk around that level, you'll find it. Um, I really like this. It's a little, um, I guess it's a bucket, but it's a pencil holder, or I'm going to use it as a, probably a pencil holder or something for my craft room. Um, so I got the Rilakkuma. There was also the Ko Rilakkuma, which is the white one. And I got these, because they're like zoom zooms. Look how cute, oh, sorry. Look how cute. It's like Rilakkuma Tsum Tsums. I was so happy. I was so happy. They're bigger though. Like the regular Tsum Tsums are smaller. But I like these guys anyway. Because they're Rilakkuma. Um, and then the other Rilakkuma stuff. I didn't go too crazy. But the other Rilakkuma stuff I got. Um, was more for me. Well like all these are for me. Um, but I got myself a new. Um, it's kind of like the Le Sport Sack bag. That I usually take when I go to Japan. But it's a Rilakkuma version. And I really liked it. And it was pretty reasonable. I think it was only like, I want to say $25, um, which is good for this type. And it's actually like a travel bag. So it has this, um, if you can see it, it has this thing here where you can stick your suitcase, um, your suitcase, what you call, um, handle. Oh, that's not it. Where's the picture? Oh, here, 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 here. here. So see, you can stick your suitcase in there. Um, so anyway, I got this. Because when I go to Japan, I like to carry light purses. And I like the fact that it has these um, zippers here. Because then I can stick my subway um, pass and my hotel card. Um, anyway, and then I like the fact that you can adjust the strap. And then I can wear it like crossbody. So this is my new Japan bag. Yay! Um, and then I also got, in the same print, a travel um, duffel bag. So it folds up nicely, it zips up, and then it turns into like this, this duffel bag here. Um, but I like the fact that it's compact and it zips up. So when I travel, um, usually when I'm going somewhere, I don't have that much stuff. Um, but when I come home, I have a lot of stuff because I like to go shopping. So I can take this in my... Um, in my suitcase it won't take up too much space and then um, if I need an extra bag I'll have it with me so I was very happy to get that <clears throat> okay the other um, the next group of um, stuff that I got is all Sanrio <laughs> or some kind of Sanrio character not necessarily Hello Kitty because I have a lot of Hello Kitty stuff already but I wanted to find other characters because it's hard to find other characters here in Hawaii. Okay, so I told you earlier that I was Tsum Tsum crazy, right? Um, and I found... Okay, so we had gone to several, and I don't know where I got all of them from. Um, we'd gone to several Sanrio stores, and um, I initially found these in a UFO machine, which is like a crane machine um, video game, but it's a crane machine. Um, they have these arcades all over the place, and I really wanted it after I saw it, but um, we couldn't find a whole lot of these anywhere. So I did manage to find one, 
the my melody one when we went to Pure Land. And so my sister told me if you see my melody, she would want that. So I got her one too. Um, and I was a little disappointed because I, of course, I want Hello Kitty because she's the main character. But I wanted some of the other characters as well. But I was happy to just to get one. So I got this one from Pure Land. And then we had gone to another store. Where was it? I can't remember. But I found the Hello Kitty one. So I was happy to get that. And that was the last one. Like, we didn't see any more there. So I got her there. And then we went to um, a store. Oh, okay. In Ikebukuro, they have a... I think it's called Gift Gate or something like that. And it's all Sanrio characters. And if you go um, into that store, it's a it's two stories. And we I actually found... Um, couple in there. I think I got the Kero Kero P there. And I think I also found this one, which is the, it's the lamb that's My Melody's friend. So it kind of looks like My Melody. But if you look closely, My Melody has the ears and this one is like a lamb. So they're, they're a little bit different. So I got those two. I think the only one I didn't end up getting was um, the salmon guy. <laughs> He's like a piece of salmon, a fillet. It's so weird. But anyway, that's I think that's the only one I ended up not getting. Then we went to, um, in in the actual Sunshine City in Ikebukuro, there was another Sanrio store. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of, I bought a lot of Sanrio. I don't think I'm going to buy anything there. And then I found these. So um, they actually had the rest of the characters there. So I, if you're looking for these Zoom Zooms, you might want to try over there because this is where I found the most of them. And they had some of the other ones like the Hello Kitty and the My Melody. But I got Bats Maru. He's not my favorite, but I got him anyway. Um, they had Cinnamon Roll, which is a cute one. And this is my f my niece Haley's favorite. Um, so it reminds me of her. Then my favorite, I found Kiki and Lala. Zoom zooms. <laughs> They're so cute. I was so happy. This is my favorite purchase. So I was very stoked to find all the, the Sanrio Zoom Zoom characters. Um, oh, I found this. Um... Sorry, I thought I had gotten all the other non Sanrio guys out of the way. But I found when we had gone to that store, the passport store in Ikebukuro, um, oh my god, I couldn't, I wasn't going to buy anything, but I just couldn't pass these guys up. And they're so tiny and cute. Oh my god, look at that. It's a bunny. See, it's a bunny. But he's so tiny. Look, he fits in my hand. Okay, so that's the bunny. And then I got the pig. And then I got, I got the little chicky. Even the little hen was cute too. And then I got the panda. And they had other characters too. Like they had lions and so forth. And I wish I could get them all, but they were cute. They're about $3 each. So it can get expensive if you buy a bunch of them. But I got, I just got these for now. Um, hopefully I can go back to one of those stores again later. Although Ikebukuro wasn't my favorite area. Um, they did have some cute things. Okay, next, um, gosh, I don't know where to begin. Oh, okay, let's start with this. Um, so we found a lot of these at, um, I think we found a couple at Pure Land, which I didn't buy, my mom bought there, but um, I also found at the Sanrio store in Skytree Mall. Um, I think that's where we got the book from. But I did get some in Disney <laughs> that I forgot to show you my Disney haul. So these are like um, hand sanitizer holders, but they're cute shaped. They're in this, um, this is the mouse ear shape. So I got the cute Mickey. I got a couple of those to give to uh, my friend's kids. So um, my one of my friends is going to Disneyland soon. So I'm going to give this to her son. And then that other one is for my nephew. And then um, my friend Susan had gotten me one of these on her last trip because she goes to Japan frequently. Um, so I was dying to find these to give away to other people. So I bought a bunch of those, just the Hello Kitty ones. And then I got myself the My Melody one because um, I already have the Hello Kitty one, but I got myself that one. So that, I, got, I just got a bunch. This is all the same thing. And then I also found this. It's a My Melody ear cleaner, and um, I love the Japanese bamboo ear cleaners. Um, it has a little tip like that. And anyway, I needed one, so I got My Melody. So that is the hand sanitizers, which are so cute. So I don't know where you can find the round refills like that, so I think um, what my friend said to do is just take the cap off and refill it with your favorite 
hand sanitizer. That way you have, you always have the shape of it. Um, the next thing I got was actually a surprise. Like, I didn't expect to get this. Um, but we went to a store called Uniqlo? Uniqlo? U-N-I-L... <laughs> U-N-I-L... No, U-N-I-Q-L-O. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I never go clothes shopping ever in Japan because everybody there is teeny weeny and I'm a big girl. Um, uh, but I actually, cause my husband wanted to go here to find Star Wars stuff, but I actually found some stuff for myself. So I found this cute twin star and my Melody shirt and it pretty much, it actually kind of fits me. <laughs> and then I found, uh, Hello Kitty one. Cute, yeah. And, um, I got just this, my Melody one too. So, it's, like, really, really rare for me to find, um, like, Sanrio clothes. So, since I... And they're only, like, $10 each. So, since I found some that actually fit me, I got it. Like I said, it's really rare. Um, okay, so... I don't know where to begin. I have so much other stuff. Okay, so let's just kind of go through it. Um, at that Sanrio gift gate in Ikebukuro... Um, it's not in, in Sunshine City. It was outside um, near the subway station. I found this really cute bag. And I had every intention of buying a Samantha Tavasa bag um, while we were there. But it was kind of hard to find stores. I think they're smaller stores. So they don't have like one huge one that we found anyway. I'm sure there's one um, somewhere. Um, we just didn't see it. <laughs> but my mom ended up getting one finally at the airport. <laughs> so she got it duty free. But I got this bag instead. It's a cute backpack and it has Kiki and Lala on it. And that's the reason why I bought it. It's lavender. Um, but I really fell in love with Kiki and Lala again. Um, they're from my childhood time. They're just turning 40 years old. So it just shows you it's about my age. And um, it's like I said, it's hard to find now. So I was on a mission to find a whole bunch of Kiki and Lala stuff. I think Kiki and Lala are turning 40 this year. And so is my melody so when we went to Pearl Land there was a whole my melody feature while we were there um okay <clears throat> some of the other stuff Kiki and Lala I got is this cute cosmetic bag um it's actually pink and lavender looking with the um images and there's that rainbow unicorn that's very popular as well um Sorry, I just have so much stuff. <laughs> okay, so I got um, I got a couple bento boxes, but I'm actually going to use the smaller ones more. Um, I got them for my embossing powders so that it's easier to use and I won't make as much of a mess. Um, so I got this set, and then I got a My Melody set, and then I got a Hello Kitty set. And again, they're all in the pastel colors, so that's why I got those. And then I'll probably use the bottom big box either for storage or for mental items as well. Um, oh, my, as I told you earlier, my niece um, pretty much ordered that she likes. She, she gave us a whole list of characters that she likes from Sanrio. So her favorite character, according to my sister and my mom, is Cinnamon Roll. So I got her this. It's a cute calendar with cinnamon roll on top. And I got it for her for her um, birthday. Because her birthday's coming up at the end of next month. Or this month. So I got her that. And I sent her that for her birthday. But I got her a couple other things as well. Um, that I'll share. That I've been sharing with you in my other videos. Okay. So this stuff I got. Um, I think I got this at Shimojima, which I was kind of surprised to find um, Sanrio stuff there. And again, whenever I'm I've on this trip, apparently, whenever I see Hello Kitty stuff, I've been buying. I mean, San, uh, Little Twin Star stuff, I've been buying it. I have no idea what this is, but I really like the case. I think something's in there. <laughs> so let me try open it. We'll open it together and you can see what I bought because I have no idea. Um, where is the... I have a feeling it's like, oh gosh, it's like, um, I have a feeling it's candy or cards. I don't know. I, 
I really need to like learn how to read Japanese, man. Oh, it's candy. See, <laughs> it's candy. But I like the case, so I got that. Um, and then I got this um, pen. It's Twin Stars. I got this little notepad, which is Twin Stars. Let me do a. So it has this cute, um, cute images. Hard to see. Sorry, it's so glary here. And then I found this cute um, Lala. It's like a ID badge, and it has like the place behind this tab for your badge. And then it has the bungee cord. So I just got that. I thought that would be good for when I go walking. Um, and then I got this cute twin star pen. So that was, I think, all from Shimojima. Um, I don't know which star I got this from, but I, it's these cute little um, coin purses, or I guess, yeah, I think they're coin purses. And they're all twin stars, but I like the big Kiki and big Lala face. They actually have this cute, um, like, plushy kind of container looking thing with Kiki and Lala's face on it, and I wanted to get that, but I decided at the last minute not to. I think it, because it was towards the end of my shopping trip, and I didn't want to overbuy, like, I've already bought so much stuff already. Um, I got my, well, I didn't get this. My husband got this. This is one of the Dust Bunny stuff from Totoro. He had gone to Studio Ghibli with my sister um, while we were in Puro Land, and this is the only thing that he got, but it's pretty cool. He's a, it's a suction cup one, so you can hang it. And then this is, like, the other gachapon thing that I got that wasn't very happy with. Um, out of all of the characters on this Sumiko Gurashi, those guys, the one that I don't get is the Tonkatsu. Like, I like all the other ones, but for some reason, they have a Tonkatsu there, and I don't quite understand why. And I'm like, okay, I'll take any but the Tonkatsu, and then look what I got. I got the Tonkatsu guy. <laughs> Talk about karma, right? Okay, so that was um, the one only other gacha pun that I got. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, okay, so most of this other stuff is what I got from Puro Land. And Puro Land is like Hello Kitty theme park, amusement park, which I've never been. Like, we were supposed to go on our first trip when we had gone to eat lunch with our friend Randy, and we we're gonna go after that, but, um, then the earthquake happened, and in a way it was good we didn't go because we probably would have been stuck in that area. So um, this time we, my mom, that was one of the few things that she really, really wanted to go to. So it was kind of outside of Tokyo, which um, was kind of made it, things a little difficult for my husband because he dropped us off there, and then they went to Studio Ghibli, and then we met again. <clears throat> so that was the first time I rode the subway after we went to Pearland by without him so that was a little scary or it was actually a monorail um, but we managed to do it and we managed to meet up with him again so um, it was kind of fun to go to Puro Land with somebody who was just as excited to go as me so um, thanks mom I was, I was happy to get to go to with um, somebody who loves Sanrio as much as I do anyway um, this is one of the, f the things that I got and it's um, it's actually because I guess so the feature was a 40th anniversary of my melody so this is a collectible that I got and it's quite heavy and it says 40th on this side and my melody and I really liked her so I got I picked her up um, for my office because she's so cute <clears throat> okay and then um this is the other thing I got it this is actually like um, a sleeve a plastic sleeve and it's um commemorating the my Me my memoro drive <laughs> i don't know something like that so there was this ride um with you ride the my melody car and then it, it takes you all over um with in my melody's life so here has like when she was born she's so cute when she was born um and then this is all her friends and then this is like the garden area. And so you kind of go through that ride and it takes you through my Melody's life, I guess. 
Um, but at the end, so throughout the ride, they're taking your picture. So they kind of tell you this ahead of time. And then they'll make you stop and then the, the camera will flash and they'll take your picture. So uh, my mom and I um, rode the ride and then they... At the end, you get to pick which pictures you like and you can buy it. So this is me and my mom in the My Melody car. And she liked this one, this particular picture, because it had all of the characters in the back. This one. And then we picked some other ones. Like, this is at the beginning of the ride. And then this one we thought was cute, too. And after a while, I was, like, making stupid faces. So we didn't pick any of those. But she ended up getting one for each of us so that we can remember that we had gone to Pyroland together. So that was kind of fun. Um... And then, let's see. I got this at another store. I didn't get this at Pure Land. But um, my mom fell in love with this guy, Pudin, Pom Pom Pudin. And he's, I think he's supposed to be like a pudding cup or like a pudding cup. Um, we think he's French because he has a beret. And he's really cute. So these are all the stickers that come in that pack. My mom has already ordered a photo album, <laughs> scrapbook of her trip. Um, from me and she says oh you can give it to me next year so I, I figure if I have this kind of stuff I can use it in her scrapbook um, I also got these for myself these are very teeny tiny little twin star stickers that I found um, and I'm going to probably use it in my planner um, oh, this is more planner stuff so more twin star stickers uh, these are twin star page flags Star washi tape. I got Hello Kitty washi tape, which I probably will do a giveaway or I might rock to somebody. I got more Twin Star stickers, and this is a Twin Star die cut um, notepad, and those were all from Pure Land. Um, oh, I found these for my friends. They're My Melody Pure Land Mints. And they're really cute because if um, you saw the picture that they had there, it's all jeweled, um, cased, kind of like an Altoids tin. Um, but on the picture in front of this, it says that all of the mints are heart-shaped. So I got a bunch of those from my friends. Okay, so I found, um, like I had the Putin stickers, I also got the Twin Star stickers. So that's that set. Very cute. And then I found this Twin Star stationery set. It comes with stickers and the little envelopes. I love that elephant, he's so cute. And then I found this Twin Star set. See, I was Twin Star crazy. Twin Star crazy! And then I found this cute phone case. Um, I just got the iPhone 6 last year and I like this type of case where it um, it's like also like a stand like that so you can um, use it like uh, I guess to like film or if you want to watch um, videos and stuff I like to sit in bed and watch it so um, it's helpful to have the stand like that and I was happy to find a twin star one. Okay, I found this other stationery set, and oh, I found this eyeglass case for my niece, because this was the other character she liked, which is Kettle Kettle Pea. They didn't have too much of the characters that she liked, so we had a hard time finding stuff. My mom, um, whenever there was anything cinnamon roll, my mom bought it, so I didn't have too much that was left for me to buy. Um, and then, what is this? I don't even know what I bought. Oh, and then I found a Twin Star, um, same like, I think this is Mints. It seemed like that My Melody one, but I found the Twin Star one. And this was at Character Street in um, Tokyo Station. That's all I bought at that one. And then my mom bought me this. I was telling her I wanted to get a selfie stick because my husband has one and I don't have one. Um, and I didn't want to open it while we were there, but this one has Hello Kitty! They had My Melody too, and they had it in red, um, or pink, but I wanted the pink Hello Kitty. She's so cute! Oh my god, I was so happy. Thanks, Mom! 
And then last, and my favorite, song with stuff I bought, are these Kiki and Lala plushies. Oh my god, they're so cute. And they look like them. Like, they did a good job. Oh, I love it. I was so happy to find these. I really wanted to find, like, a hard one. Like, hard figures. Like, this one in Kiki and Lala. But I, I couldn't find it. But I was happy to get these. Yay! They make me so happy. So cute. So, anyway, that is my massive Sanrio slash Kawaii haul. If you're not sick of Sanrio by now, then you probably will be, but, um, or you really love it like I do. So I'm going to try to get together a bunch of stuff that I got in total from my Japan hauls and come up with a little prize pack for somebody, um, who managed to sit through this whole video or maybe some of my other videos. So, um, leave me a comment below on what was your favorite item that I got from any of my haul videos. It doesn't have to be from this Sanrio one, um, but it can be from my food haul or my um, craft haul or my uh, Disney haul. <laughs> what else did I do? My miscellaneous Japanese stuff. Just tell me which was your favorite item that, um, that I picked up and um, you'll be eligible to win um, a giveaway from me. Um, you also should be a subby. And I don't know what else. I guess that's it. Um, I, I haven't been totally paying attention to how many subbies I got, but I think I have over 200 now. So that's quite an accomplishment for me. I know for the rest of you who have like thousands, like that's small potatoes. But to me, like I never know if anybody would actually be interested in anything that I have to share. So it's kind of fun to see that there are more and more subbies joining my channel. So thank you. Just wanted to say that to everybody who's um, started following me and um, who likes, I guess, you guys like what I'm sharing. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, if you want to enter, just leave me a comment below on the thing that you like best about um, one of the things that I got. And also, um, if you're a subby. <laughs> see, I'm tired. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!